Sometimes small ball can play pretty big, especially when you let foul ball bunts become run scoring triples. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. It's good. Let's get into it. Andrew Heaney is on the bump. He has turned his career around more on that after the fun stuff. We got Nimmo at the plate, a 2-2 count. He sends it back where it came from, the old hitting machine drill. Put it back in the machine, kid. Freeman says, what are you looking at up there? What you got? And he says, ah, you're so silly, Freddie. And now he's checking on him at first, checking on him, looking at the catcher. Yeah, that pitch, but I'm going to check on him one more time. And the bunt down the line. Now Heaney decides to play it and throws it away, which turns that into a run-scoring triple. Nimmo's going to go around third. He's going to score. Marte gets to third base. If you're very new to baseball and you're like, what do you mean? Well, you see how Freddie Freeman, the first baseman, is putting his hand up right here like, let it go, you know? Like, uh, leave it, leave it. Oh, shit, okay, you're playing it? That's because that ball was going to go foul. It, it only matters where the ball is when the fielder touches it. And Heaney's like, oh, maybe that would have went foul. Maybe it's all coming back to me now. I didn't have to make the heroic backhanded toss because that ball was going to hit the grass, usually gets <laughs> and go foul, usually gets the lip of the grass, gives it a little ramp, you know, more that way. So it hits there. If that goes untouched, maybe it spins back. I think you take that risk because this is not really a likely play. And then in the first inning, the Mets have a run. Don't tell Strider this. They got lucky again. A little bit of a misplay by the Heen Dog. And now they're set up. They have the run. They have a runner on third. No outs. Heaney shook. He's going slider, slider, fastball for a strike to Lindors. Back to the slider. Hits him in the foot. So now he's on first base. But before Lindor goes to first base, he goes, Alonzo, he loves that slider right now. He loves that slider right now. Be ready for the slider. So Alonzo's in there ready for the slider, gets a fastball. He's like, okay, regroup, find yourself, think about it. Maybe he'll come fastball now. Get ready to hit it. He's going to put it right there, right there. Smack it again. Where's he going to put it? Right there. And it's all mine. One, two, three, kaboom. Swung through it. Something I noticed when making this, I've never seen the digital strike zone actually shift. So this is actually Lindor's strike zone. Alonzo's bigger, and watch it. See how it shifted up right there, mid-pitch? Graphics team just getting it done. Lindor. Okay, well, look at the ump dancing. Look at the ump. <laughs> anyway, got the fastball, swung right through it. Damn. Damn. Okay, right there. Right there. Gets another fastball. Another fastball. That was the one he wanted, and then he's sitting slider with two strikes. Never got a fastball. Never got a slider. Bad advice. Was waiting for it. Next batter comes up. Another big old guy. Swings at the fastball. Doesn't swing at the fastball. It's one and one. Swings over the slider. And now Frankie Lindor is saying, let's make some action. I'm going to run to second. Marte, you go home. Marte, you. Marte, you didn't. You didn't go anywhere. They threw to Marte. Didn't know the play was on. He didn't know what was going on. Lindor looks at him after getting tagged like, dude. Thought we were going to make something happen. Buck, a little upset. Now Heen Dog comes back with a fastball. He's one strike away from getting out of the inning, and he gets it. He goes up top. Fuck! But he's mad at himself. Now, I told you I was going to talk about Heen Dog and how his ERA has just drastically improved this year and what has made that happen because I like this stuff. You're going to like it. Watch this. His pitch percentage over the his years has changed drastically. In 2022, he was curveball 22% of the time last season with the change up at 18, and he started throwing a slider at the very end of last year when he got traded to the Yankees. Now, he's slider 33% of the time. He doesn't throw a curveball anymore, and the chain's up dropped. He's basically a two-pitch pitcher. This is his game log at the end of the year last year when the Yankees were trying to get him to throw what they call a sweeper, a sweeping slider. Uh, Seam-shifted wake is the science term. And he was trying to, but couldn't really figure it out. Worked on it over the offseason, and now it's his pitch. And this is the vertical break, so the up and down break. Some sliders 
dart down. Some just sweep across and stay lateral. This is the difference. So last year, his curveball and his slider were were pretty like up and down break. They would drop a lot. They would fall off the table. Now, his slider doesn't have that much break at all. It's kind of flat. It's just left to right movement. And his velo is way up. He's throwing this pitch. Not way, not way up, sorry. He's throwing it three miles per hour faster, but he's throwing it harder. So here's what it looks like. The Angels pitcher, Heaney, is throwing a curveball. The Dodgers pitcher, Heaney, is throwing a slider, and it's a slight difference, but you can see the numbers with your eyes if you look at it. So there's one ball that kind of pops up out of his hand and then comes down. That's the curveball, right? The new pitch kind of darts out of his hand, It's the slider. So the one on the left is the curve, pops out of his hand, and then comes down. The one on the inside was the slider. You might be wondering, that really makes that big of a difference? Why? Well, on its own, it doesn't. But all secondary and breaking pitches exist because they play off the fastball. So this is 2021, how his curveball played off his fastball. The curveball separates right away. They don't tunnel at all. It pops out of his hand. Look, they're separate right away. And hitters look like that. The curveball will just pop out of his hand. They're not on the same plane. So it's easy for batters to identify if they could curveball, fastball. Watch the pitches that we just watched to rough in this breakdown. The slider and the fastball, they come out together. They don't separate till they're halfway. Out of the hand, especially, you can't even tell he's throwing two different pitches here. It just looks like one long blur. So that's called tunneling. And that is why the slider that he has this year is so much more effective than his curve last year. Here's side by side. On the left, you have the curveball and the fastball. On the right, you have the slider and the fastball. And see on the left, they're already separated. Hitters that are really honed in can already pick it apart. Now the slider is still together at this point with the fastball. Now the slider is starting to break off on the right, and the curveball is way apart. And that's the difference. And that stuff is really cool. I love when guys change their pitch mix and figure it out. So kudos to Heaney. You made a dumb play, but you're having a phenomenal season because you put in the work and you used the knowledge to benefit you. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you very much to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdown. Good stuff, Heen Dog.